Some of you might remember me talking briefly about the documentary Otaku and the way the rest of society views the culture. It comes as no surprise that otakudom has always been synonymous with social pariahs, even 20 years ago. What is an otaku? Someone who has a hobby which is noticeable. He's a fanatic. Someone who has no friends. He's dull. He stays indoors. Someone closed in on themselves, and a bit suspect. Basically, someone I had no desire to get to know. And you know what? I'm kind of guilty of this too. I'll fully admit that I have made my fair share of jokes about the fandom, and I'll even cop to the fact that a lot of them can be construed as mean-spirited. If it means anything, I never meant any of my jokes to be an attack on anyone, and that... I understand. I understand that being around people in general can be scary, and that it's made worse when it seems like everyone around you has you pegged as a socially inept loser. I understand the need and want to make a real connection with another person, be it platonic or romantic, especially romantic. I understand that no man is an island, but when there's no one around you, you can feel like you're drowning. I understand that in this day and age where talking with someone who is thousands of miles away from you is only a keystroke away, still can't replace a friendly pat on the shoulder to help lighten the burden of life. I understand that women can seem difficult and demanding, and I also understand that men can seem scary and threatening. And I also understand that in the absence of this connection, what might temporarily meet this need is a figurine of your favorite character, or a poster of your favorite character, or even a body pillow. And I also understand that purchasing these things can make you feel ashamed. Like you're admitting that yes, you are a socially inept loser, because who else would buy it? But I want to tell you, not just the people who purchased a body pillow or a full-length figurine, or even just the otakus out there, but anyone who feels like they have no friends, or anyone who can feel alone in a crowded room, or anyone who just wants one person to say they care about them, I want to say, you're okay. You are okay. You're not a freak. You are not worthless, and you are not hopeless. You are much stronger than you think you are, and nothing you can ever feel can ever stop you from being happy. But first and foremost, you have to know that you are a